How do you find the half-life of a second-order reaction? Well, this is the integrated rate law for a second-order reaction, and half-life is the amount of time it takes for the amount of substance to decrease from its initial concentration to half its initial concentration. Put another way, at the half-life, the concentration is the initial concentration divided by two. What I'm going to do here is replace my concentration with initial concentration divided by two so that this T represents my actual half-life. Now, all I need to do is solve for T and I will have the equation for half-life of a second order reaction. This one over a fraction, when you divide by a fraction, it's like multiplying by it's reciprocal. So this simplifies to two over the initial concentration. I'm gonna move this over, subtracting it instead, and I'm left with KT on the right-hand side. Now, common denominator already, two minus one makes one over the initial concentration, left with KT. And to solve for t, I just divide both sides by k. So the half-life of a second order reaction is one divided by the initial concentration you started with times k. So if I told you that there's a second order reaction and the initial concentration of the reactant was uh, 0.1, and the K was 0 0.1. You could literally just plug those into this equation, solve it, and you end up with your half-life, just like that. As long as these are in the right units of moles per liter and then liters per mole seconds. Pretty sweet, pretty easy. All you have to do is replace the concentration term with initial concentration divided by two, and then solve for t. Because as soon as you make that replacement, this t becomes the actual half-life. You can get an equation for it and plug in numbers if you're given them. A hey, best of luck to you.